the best channel on YouTube, ever. 1 million personality tests, and quizzes. The shape of your lip, reveals a lot about your personality. Our lips, do all the talking. But did you know, that the shape of lip you have, can reveal the kind of person you are, and what kind of partner, you will be? Look at the images, and see which lip corresponds to yours. If you are somebody with thin lips, you are likely to be a self-reliant person, who likes to handle problems by yourself. You tend to value people when their actions match their words, you don't feel the need to explain your problems to others. When it comes to relationships, you are very adventurous. You like to surprise your partner, and keep them on their toes. Even if you have no one to share your adventurous spirit, you have no qualm going out, and being adventurous yourself because you believe in your own company, and are rarely bored. You are somebody with a great sense of responsibility. You are also very loyal to your friends, and would never leave them in their times of need. You are somebody who believes in being efficient by yourself, and find it as a mark of strength, to be able to cope, with things that are thrown your way. In relationships, you tend to be a cornerstone of fortitude and integrity. Your partner values your resourcefulness and love, but you'll also make sure that they get their space and freedom. You don't believe in being attached to the hip all the time. If you have round lips, then you are likely to be one of the most caring of people. You have a strong maternal instinct and you tend to be a protector of people. If your building is on fire, you'd first pull out others rather than saving yourself. You'd make a very caring partner. However, you might have to be careful when finding the right one, as people may want to take advantage of your caring heart. You also know, what gift will please someone, and are a great friend to have. You don't turn your back on the people you love, and make sure that nobody else hurts them. If you have lips like these, then you are somebody who ensures self-preservation. To strangers, you might come across as selfish at first. However, deep down you are a compassionate being. You may not be present all the time for people, but when they most need it, you are the first one to reach out and help them. You do not put your interest above others. You are a hero in disguise, who enjoys an element of surprise. When it comes to your relationships, you can be quite coquettish. And you equally attract playful partners. If you and your partner have an issue at hand, you are quick to resolve it. You don't allow anybody to destroy your peace of mind. If you have bow-shaped lips, then you are likely to be a creative person. Also, you are somebody with high social awareness and don't forget the people you meet. You love being able to express yourself unabashedly. Most of the times, people tend to like you the first time they meet you. In terms of a crisis. You like to get everyone's point of view and then make an informed choice regarding a solution. You can be playful in relationships and your partner would love you for it. But at the same time, you like to be honest in love. You and your partner tend to have an open communication when it comes to your long-term relationship. If you have a heavy lower lip with a thinner upper lip, you are likely to be a natural leader. You are good at communicating your thoughts to others. Also. You are very good at convincing people, it's like child's play for you. People respect you for your fearlessness and the ability to take charge of a situation and come up with pragmatic solutions to them. In your relationships, you may face some difficulties, as you believe in self-growth and realizing your potential, rather than being with someone for the heck of it. However, when you do find love, you'll strive to ensure that the both of you grow in the relationship, and be the best versions of yourselves that the relationship brings. What result did you get? Please, tell me about it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more tests. See you next time.